Hi, and welcome to our video for 0 0.8 conversion factors. Uh, so, what's it, what is a conversion factor? It's a mathematical expression that relates two units that measure the same type of quantity. For example, right, we know that one minute equals 60 seconds. So, based on that, two minutes equals 120 seconds. Now, that's kind of easy. What if, however, I want to say 3.5 minutes? Well, in this case, I can look quickly and say, all right, it's going to be times. But there's a real neat trick so you never have to memorize when you're going to have to multiply or divide. So if I want to figure out how many seconds are in 3.5 minutes, Right, so I have 3.5 minutes. I want to figure out how many seconds. Well, the trick is, and this is a cool thing to remember, what you want over what you got. So I'm going to multiply this by what I want, which is seconds, over what I got, which is minutes. And if I look here, I see one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So 60 is with seconds. So the 60 goes up here with seconds. The 1 is with minutes, so 1's on the bottom. And just like in math, I have minutes on the top and minutes on the bottom, so I can cancel. And I can see here it's 3.5 times 60, which is going to be 180 plus 30, so it's going to be 210 seconds. Some other common ones, right? One day equals 24 hours. So if I wanted to say three days is how many hours? Well, I want hours. I got days. And it's 24 hours in one day. So it's going to be 3 times 24 for 72. All right, so now metric system stuff. One liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. One kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. These are all conversion factors. Now, the ones we're mostly going to use, the most common conversions in chemistry, are going to be from milli or kilo to a base unit. So something like, you know, millimeters to meters or meters to kilometers. Okay, or kilometers to meters, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? And each time we convert one of these, we're going to be moving the decimal three places. So if I have 300 millimeters and I want to see how many meters, well, I can do what you want or what you got. And I want meters, I have millimeters, and there's a thousand millimeters in one meter. So 300 divided by a thousand, and I end up with 0 0.3. Or I could have just moved the decimal, 1, 2, 3 to the left, and get 0 0.3. When we practice these in class tomorrow, we're going to go over these methods again, and I'll demonstrate a whole bunch more for you. So, example, 5 grams is how many kilograms? Well, if I take 5 grams equals how many kilograms, what you want over what you got, there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram, so I end up with 0 0.005, where I move the decimal 1, 2, 3 places to the left, and I get 0 0.005. Two kilometers is how many meters? Well, this is beautiful. Kil kilo means 1,000, so two kilometers means 2,000 meters. 250 milliliters equals how many liters? Well, I can move the decimal three places to the left, because I'm going from small to big. One, two, three, and get 0 0.250 liters. Or I could say 250 milliliters is equal to a certain number of liters. Do what you want or what you got. There are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So 250 divided by 1,000 gives me my 0 0.250. All right, question time. Let's see how you can do with some of these. These are going to be a little bit trickier, 
but give them a try and maybe I'll think of a prize for whoever can get the most correct. Alright, so here you're going to do similar to the examples that I did a little while ago and see what we can convert. Uh, kilometers to meters, there's one kilometer equals to 1,000 meters. One liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. 1,000 grams in a kilogram. 1,000 meters in a kilometer. 1,000 grams in a kilogram. 1,000 milliliters in a liter. 1,000 millimeters in a meter. And 1,000 milliliters in a liter. Over here, you're going to say less than, greater than, or equal to on the line. All right, see how you can do. And that brings to the end of video 0.8 conversion factors, and I will see you guys at school.